Now, as the carrier is placed, the important thing to notice here is how slow it goes in. It doesn't need to be rapid and aggressive placement. When you think you're going too slow, you're going just right to the apex. The other thing I would do clinically that's just a little different than the video shows, there would be a paper point in the mesial lingual canal to prevent any gutta percha from going over and clogging that orifice, just making it a little bit easier to prevent any blockage right here. And again, now you can see this one's being placed with the cotton pliers, facilitating access. And that is my method of choice. So when it comes out of the oven, I'll grab it with the cotton pliers, break the handle, and place this way. It provides just that extra few millimeters of access so the handle isn't getting in the way. We can see that the carrier is being severed with a sharp spoon. And removing a little bit of the extra gutta percha. Now in the distal canal, that's quite broad, facial lingual. So as the carrier goes into the distal canal, there's going to be a little bit of condensation and downpacking that you're seeing here as well. Place gutta core into the root canal system in one smooth motion without excessive force. The cross-linked gutta percha core centrally compacts the alpha phase gutta percha with a hydraulic force that sends it flowing in three dimensions into laterals, isthmuses, and accessory canals.